So let's check Sarah's answer. Let's see what Sarah wrote down. Sarah, you didn't even try the problem. I don't know how to do it. Yes, you did. Yeah. What is it we learned last class? How can we identify what f of x is? Well, we know that if we take the integral of f prime of x dx, right, that's going to give us our function f of x, right? So our, can we integrate 4x? Absolutely, right? There's nothing wrong with us integrating 4x. So we integrate 4x dx. And remember, in this example, what we would basically have is that's going to be 4 to the x um, plus 1 plus 2 divided by 2, which equals 2x squared. Does everybody, oh, and I'm sorry, plus c. Would everybody agree with me on that? So we can now say that f of x equals 2x squared plus c. If you didn't get to that solution, I would highly recommend that you make sure you go back through and do your homework and do all of your homework. And if you have any questions on your homework, then you come and see me personally because I'm not going to allow and I'm not going to allocate any more time in class to go over homework questions. Okay? So make sure you guys practice that. That's something that should be routine because that was what was. This is what everybody was supposed to be able to do on their own because really it's not that difficult of a problem. Um, but now we got to enter in the new stuff, which was a challenge, which I didn't teach yet. That's what I was entering into this question for you guys. So basically what we're going to want to do now is this is what we call our general solution. And the reason why this is our general solution is because it's kind of vague, right? It's de really dependent on this value of c. c could be any constant number. It could be 5. It could be negative 2. It could be pi. c could be anything. But now what we're looking for is we're looking for a given condition. So we're looking for a particular, we're looking for one solution, right? We're looking for that function that contains that one point. So we're not looking for any function with, with any value. We're looking for an exact function. Well, um, if you guys can look at this, we have f of 0 equals 6. So what we want to do is find, uh, find um, c. So if I do f of 0 equals 2 times 0 squared plus c, and then I set f of 0, which is equal to 6, equals to c. So now f of x equals 2x squared plus 6, which is my particular solution. Okay, And that is basically what's going to be on your homework tonight is what we're going to be doing. And we're going to do some more practice problems with this. But the main idea, guys, is identifying the integral. And once you've identified the integral, 